Hey Ashton here with Ashton Automotive and Performance. Coming to you today with a, another tech tip. This one was uh, this 04 Dodge Ram 1500 with a 4.7 behind me. Uh, this one has been a doozy, uh, even for us. But it's been, been trying to track down uh, a real weird issue with it. Wanting to run rough, uh, misfires. Uh, all kinds of stuff, but what we found out is after looking closely is that Bank One's uh, fuel trims were pulling 20, it's getting up to about 26%. Uh, so it was going, and so when that would happen, it would start to run really, really poorly. Um, so after like I said ch checking everything I could, I mean, it, this thing had already had new coils put on. Uh, a new PCM uh, it had a motor done a while back and the like I said they've been trying to track this problem down for a long time brought it over here and I'm going to show you what we found uh, like I said it, it wasn't we weren't getting any specific misfires on any specific cylinder for the most part uh, all we could see was like bank two's era fuel trims stayed absolutely perfect no issues whereas bank ones would uh, the longer you would drive it and run it after doing a PCM clear it would uh, start going uh, like I said rich and then it start pulling fuel all the way pretty much maxing out the fuel trim uh, and once it did that it's it would run absolute just like garbage so after narrowing it down because we knew what bank it was on we found we pulled up the injectors, uh, thinking like maybe I had an injector leaking. We pulled them up, you know, initially lifted the rail, didn't see any injectors leaking. So I took the rail completely out. So this is what the end of a, a normal injector is supposed to look like. If I can get this to focus. You can see the little pinholes in the, no in the nozzle that control the spray pattern. And this is what number one's injector look like. It completely blew out that pinhole pattern and it literally uh, so the GM side these have been known to you can decap a GM injector and get it to flow basically almost double what it would typically flow with the nozzle on there uh, the spray pattern is garbage on it but again you're this is basically what was happening to this injector uh, you're basically doubling to tripling the output of this injector by that cap or by that end piece being missing. Uh, so we should be able to just put another injector in there, put another a fresh set of O-rings on it, and we'll uh, get this thing on the road. It should run like a champ after that. So like I said, uh, whenever you're getting fuel trim codes, uh, I said it's good to look... Uh, look really closely at again the very minor details like again most of the very very this is like a one in t maybe two times i've ever seen this happen and <laughs> as far as just failing like that uh, as far as a nozzle failing but the uh yeah just like i said remember just like i said when you start getting a problem you can't figure out just look very closely at your the details of things like your injector nozzles and stuff like that. Until uh, next time, this is Ashton. Peace out.